And you see these series, and I've just chosen one here to show you. You see these series of tombs, and I think if you look at it, you'll see the similarity of this to the Mausoleum of Augustus. These uh, round Etruscan tombs have central burial chambers. Uh, they have stone, uh, stone facing around the outermost part of the structure. And you can see that piled on top of that is an earthen mound. Uh, and if you expand the size, the Cervetary tomb is much smaller. Actually, the individual Cervetary tombs are smaller than the Mausoleum of Augustus. The Mausoleum of Augustus is 290 feet in diameter. It's a very large building. But if you expand the size of one of these, uh, what we call tumulus, T-U-M-U-L-U-S, tumulus tombs at Cervetary, if you expand the size, if you plant this with trees, because we know that the Mausoleum of Augustus was planted with trees on the earthen mound, there's been quite a bit of controversy about what kind of trees. For a long time, people said cypress trees. Now people seem to favor juniper trees. But whatever, trees of some sort uh, decorating that earthen mound. So if you, ex if you enlarge this, if you put some junipers on top of it, and if you stick a gleaming bronze statue of Augustus at the apex, you will have essentially the Mausoleum of Augustus. So I'd like to suggest to you today uh, that the Mausoleum of Augustus indicates to us that when it came to his tomb, Augustus wanted to be buried like his Italian ancestors, like the Etruscans, uh, and that is why he chose uh, this particular type of tomb in Rome. 